your attention is the most valuable resource in your life and everyone is after it. We live in a world that's highly optimized to distract you right, and suck your energy because your energy follows what you give your attention to. Advertisers are trying to get your attention. Right now I'm getting your attention. Other people are getting your attention, etc. So you have to selectively choose what you actually give your attention to. Some things and some people give you energy when you give your attention to them and other things and people just take it from you. So you need to actually really pay attention to the quality of the interaction that you are having with the thing or person that you are giving your attention to, with the food, right, with the habit, with the content that you consume. If something is always just taking your energy and taking and taking and taking, this is just going to leave you drained and numb and dull and you can't really live a profound life. You can't really self-actualize and self-transcend if you're habitually drained by various things in the external world. So some things and people just take your energy and they just suck your attention. Other things actually get it and then they give to you because, well, they actually care. They have a high enough moral development to the point where they actually will care about you. So I, I want to actually list some examples now, some very extreme examples, so you get a very clear idea of what I'm talking about. And I'm saying that your attention is the most valuable resource in your life, right? So your energy follows your attention. And what you give your attention to has formative powers, or uh, not formative powers, it has a formative effect on your mind and your life. Right, so some examples of this are reading a book for 12 hours versus mindlessly scrolling on Instagram for 12 hours. Right, we can see from this very clear extreme difference that one is going to have a very profound effect on your mind where the other one is just going to be sucking your energy and just taking your energy usually just for personal gain, for a very selfish motive. It's kind of like sick and twisted, actually. Another good example is practicing meditation for one hour a day versus eating hot dogs and watching TV for one hour a day. This is going to be a huge shift that occurs over time just based off of simple things like this, right? Basically, what you repeatedly give your attention to. So you get to choose what you give it to. The problem is that humanity has figured out how to hijack your attention. Humanity's figured out how to manipulate you to give you, or to <laughs> how to manipulate you so that you give things and people your attention so that you just like mechanically buy from them or just help them with their own agenda. And their agenda doesn't actually give you any value. They right? have just nothing wrong with making money or advertising or technology the problem is when this stuff is used in a exclusively selfish way that doesn't actually provide meaningful and healthy value to people and people are just addicted to this junk so the problem is basically that people have figured out how to manipulate you right social media um, news and media junk food gaming online shopping streaming streaming services etc various companies and stuff have basically figured out how to exploit you Right, so that you just get sucked into things, right? And they actually create addictions within your own psyche. So you actually get addicted to things that are dysfunctional for you, right? And you don't really know any way out, especially because this is baked into our culture. Most people don't really know other ways of being in the world. They just see what everyone else is doing and they just do that because this is just how they've been programmed. They just watch TV and eat junk food and scroll on their phone don't meditate or clean up their diet or go on meditation retreats or um, you know etc self-actualize self-transcend they don't really know any other possibilities that exist so without learning how to protect your attention right and give it to what's meaningful and healthy for you it will end up getting sucked into something unhealthy rather fast in our modern world because there's so much unhealthy garbage that is just so stimulating it's just so easy to grab your attention, when you have no discipline, when you have no impulse control, when you have no vision for your life, when you're not clear about your values and who you want to become, when you don't live your life by a certain set of principles, right? When you don't have any psychological structure to build your life upon, your psyche is just easily distracted, easily infected, right? So you actually have to 
counter all that noise that is trying to infect your mind and focus your attention on what's meaningful and healthy for you. You need some kind of boundary, some way to counter all the external BS, all the external noise that's actually just trying to infect you for personal gain. Right, so this is why you actually need to know yourself, right? That's what the Greeks said, they say, know thyself, right? You have to actually uncover your values, take personality tests, read books, study psychology, right? Practice meditation, connect with like-minded individuals, spend time in nature, eat for nutrition, not to escape yourself. And sit, <laughs> this one's my favorite, sit in an unstimulating and undistracting room by yourself. Have you ever noticed how you can't really do this? You jump for stimulation all the time. You always have to be doing something. You always have to be escaping yourself, essentially. This is really what's going on. And our culture is not really going to change anytime soon. There's going to continue to be an endless bombardment of advertisements and new games and new TV shows and new crap for you to spend your money on, new material garbage that doesn't actually really do very much for you and just sucks your energy for you to be spending your money on. Right? It's basically this ridiculous amount of stimulation that's completely unhealthy for you, causes all sorts of mental illness and just cracks and holes in your psyche. And it's all being done really for the benefit of others, right? You're actually just being exploited. So you need to figure out how to protect yourself from this so your entire life does not get sucked away. That's why I said, give me a few minutes of your attention, right? And I'll save you years. I literally talk to people who say they spend 10 hours a day scrolling on their phones, right? And it's not just phones. It's, it's all forms of distractions and just highly stimulating garbage that just infects your body, your mind, your awareness, right? Your whole experience of yourself, really, your being, your soul, right? You need to actually have strong boundaries with this stuff, be aware of this stuff, and actually have structures and habits in your life that counter those things, various principles and values that actually counter that stuff so that you can be healthy because we live in an extremely sick world, right? And of course, we're not taught this in school ever. It's not shown on the media, on the news at night. Of course not. Right? So you need to defend yourself from the numb existence that most people are unfortunately living due to ignorance. You need to defend yourself against the constant bombardment of distractions. Our culture is built on escaping reality, escaping ourselves, and escaping the present. We can't just be present in our existence. We can't sit in an unstimulating, undistracting room by ourselves without freaking out. <laughs> Right? We get bored, angry, we're just too neurotic, we're too addicted. We have all these coping mechanisms to just escape and avoid, right? So our culture is just built on escapism and basically the avoidance of unprocessed pain, really from childhood, stuff we've been running from over and over and over again. We're in this constant cycle of just pain, avoid, pain, avoid, pain, avoid. And all this emotional pain, especially, doesn't go anywhere, it gets stored in the body and it plays itself out in a cyclical fashion. It cycles. They come back around to bite you in the ass over and over and over again. You're always avoiding, right? You're never cleaning up what's going on inside of you. You remain stuck in, in a cycle. So you need to pay attention to how you feel when your attention is absorbed in certain things. Feel the quality of the energy that certain things actually give to you. Certain foods, right? When you wake up in the morning, Right? Pay attention to the quality of the energy that um, waking up and scrolling does for you versus waking up and meditating or waking up and having some water with, with, you know, squeeze some lemon into it. Waking up and going for a run, spending time in nature, waking up and reading or journaling. Right? Basically, as you go about your day, giving your attention to certain things, notice the felt experience and the energetic flow between you and the thing that you are interacting with right? The people, right? There's always an energy transaction, basically between you and what you give your attention to, right? And when you really practice a lot of medita meditation, you get very sensitive to this. You become very aware of this. You can't ignore this anymore. This is just your lived experience. It's like the, the default, right? So notice the quality of the energy that you get from certain things. If it's just taking from you and what it's giving you is feelings of exhaustion or just dysfunction or sickness, you have to cut that stuff out of your life. Right? Some obvious examples of that are just like fast food, endless entertainment, endless scrolling, etc. If it gives you energy, right? it adds vitality to your being, right? it makes your body feel alive, 
right? It makes your mind feel clear, sharp, lucid, rather than foggy, numb, and dull, right? Those, those things are great. That's like meditation, nature, reading, writing, spending time by yourself, reflecting, you know, in solitude, spending time with healthy people, right? Who actually care about you, right? Interacting with things that want to be giving you energy, right? Fair energy exchange, right? It's basically how the world works. There's always an energy transaction going on and some people are just trying to scam your energy, right? You need to interact with people who want to give to you, right? And you especially want to interact with people who it's just very natural for them to be giving value because they've transformed themselves into someone who effortlessly provides value, right? These people exist, <laughs> right? You want to interact with habits, foods, etc that give to you right, rather than just always taking from you. That's it for this video. You can apply to work with me one-to-one. -one. Link is in the pinned comment and the description. Take it easy.